Hey guys, it's Drew the Helium Noob. Thanks for watching. Today let's talk about how the change from POC10 to POC11 will affect you and what you need to do in order to continue to mine successfully. Now the way the Helium Network determines what is a valid or invalid witness for POC10 is expressed in this chart. What you will notice is on the left hand side is RSSI or signal strength and across the bottom is SNR or signal noise ratio. When you compare real values to this chart, if the RSSI and the SNR are too high or too good, the network actually determines that it's likely that the location of the miner is actually incorrect or spoofed. This equals an invalid witness and zero rewards. Now assuming that not everybody is actually spoofing the system, what was happening, if you remember a while back, the, a lot of people were starting to get a bunch of invalid witnesses. This was because of the higher DBI antennas having such good signal that the network thought that they were fake locations and it was making them invalid. So what they've done to try to compensate for that and to uh, continue to further level the playing field is they're releasing um, proof of coverage 11. Now if you're enjoying this video so far, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and then subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. So let's jump over to POC 11, right? POC 11 was added with the most recent firmware update 2021.9.14.0. Now, as of filming this video, they're saying it's not turned on yet, but it will be turned on soon. So let's talk about the three major changes that, that are going to happen with POC 11 and how they're going to actually affect you. First is the antenna gain that you put in the Helium app will start to uh, affect your transmission power. Um, that in turn will affect your rewards. So you need to make sure that the information that you have in the Helium app is correct. Now right now the default antenna gain is 1.2 dBi and all miners are transmitting at the same power regionally. So in the United States they're all transmitting at 27 dBm. Once POC 11 is turned on the miner will actually change the transmit power to compensate for the default antenna gain. Now what this means for you is let's say for example you have a 10 dBi antenna. Now the miner is going to say hey we're going to reduce the power that we transmit at and now that 10 dBi antenna isn't going to be able to reach as far. Now depending on where you're at in your setup this could potentially cause your higher gain antenna to not be able to see anything close to you and now not anything further away from you. So it's something that you'll have to keep an eye on on a case by case situation. The second change is instead of using RSSI and SNR to validate witnesses, POC11 will actually start using RSSI and distance. So when a signal is actually transmitted, the distance will be used to calculate energy loss in free space, which will, de which will help determine what RSSI is ideal for a valid witness in that instance. Further, this will allow minor locations to actually be triangulated, so this should help with getting rid of a lot of the spoofing going on. The third change is randomization of witness collection. There will be a random subset of witnesses that reports back to the blockchain instead of who is the fastest to report to the blockchain. This allows developers to reduce the number of total witnesses to 10 from 25. So enough talk of what is actually happening, what do we need to do, right? So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we need to update your antenna DBI in the Helium app. Once you're in the app, select your hotspot that you're trying to update and go ahead and click on the gear. Once the gear loads, hit update hotspot and you'll be presented with update antenna or update location. So make sure you click on update antenna. Now in the drop down where it says select antenna, you can pick um, from a list of antennas that they have preloaded in there with the default. Um, DBI settings. Now if you don't see yours you can go ahead and click on custom antenna and that will allow you to put in the gain and the height um, specific to the one that you're using. Uh, if you do have one in the list like for me it's a rack uh, a V2 in, in the United States so I scroll all the way down I'm going to pick on rack hotspot minor and then for me I'm about 12 feet in the air with this setup so I'm going to put in four for my meters uh, for my height and then hit update antenna. Now, you'll notice here it says that the fee is 55,000 uh, data credits. That's the equivalent of 55 cents. So once that's there, go ahead and click Submit. And then it's going to put the transaction into a pending status. Could take a couple minutes, could take a couple hours, but eventually that will update. Now, the second thing that we're going to need to look at, guys, is, is review and possibly replace your, DBI, or your higher DBI antenna with a lower DBI antenna. 
Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll notice that I, I, I've been using the rack antennas. Um, I've had good luck with them. Uh, of course, there are other manufacturers out there, so do your own due diligence and homework for which one you want to use. But if you do want to use the rack um, antennas, go ahead and go to their website. I got the links in the description, and then you can actually use my uh, discount code Helium Noob to get yourself a little bit of a discount. All right, guys. Just kind of in closing, um, you know, my opinion is that POC11 uh, should help knock out a lot of the. Um, spoofing and GPS hacking stuff that's going on. I think it, I think that's a good thing. Um, and, and ultimately, I think it'll provide better results, you know, a, a better miner, mining experience for those that, that have taken the time to put their miners in good locations, group them together correctly, um, and, and try to get, you know, uh, good witnesses. Um, you know, further, I think, you know, the this, this hunting mentality of let's put up, you know, the biggest antenna uh, so I can get the most witnesses so I can eat right now. Um, I think that that needs to start, you know, kind of moving towards a more of a farming philosophy where, hey man, let's get let's get all our miners up, let's get them grouped correctly, let's not overload the hexes, you know, let's focus on quality witnesses. That way, when HNT, you know, mining actually starts declining, when we start running out of HNT to to actually mine, um, you know, the, the the next phase in in the project is to, you know, actually have the data transfer um, for all the IoT devices that the network's going to handle. Um, so I think that that's, that's kind of the long-term strategy, uh, more of the farming. So I, I think that POC 11 is kind of like the first step to, to kind of try to start changing everybody's mindsets to, hey, let's look at this thing more long-term than, than for what's happening right this second. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you checking out the channel. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if, you, uh, you know, if you really liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Greatly appreciate you, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.